spot time again as we as we wrap up here in the, in the preview. This one, uh, 23-7, lot 63, spotted male. Again, this whole litter is all, all 23 litter pigs. Their pedigree reads bodyguard on walks by faith. Yeah, so... Um the, the spots, uh, obviously, bodyguard, walk by faith. Uh, they beat out of the Millers. The Miller guilt that we bought there last summer at, at Exposition that was uh, exhibited by the Miller family uh, very successfully here on the point circuit in Illinois. We loved. And um, anyway, we got uh, dash eight right here. Um, I'm sorry, seven, dash seven. Uh, so be 23-7, um, spotted male pig, and, and uh, we think a, a high-quality one. Um, a front, front third of that thing is real good. He's a, a extra heavy in terms of his bone. He's, he's good in terms of his length of body, uh, one that uh, I think could, uh, could have some friends here Saturday and one that, uh, that could, should and could feed uh, real well this summer. I think uh, I love that thing's head and neck and uh, the way that thing, uh, his, his front third ties into him. So. Yeah, I, I'm with you. I think this one, shorter-sided, bigger-legged, boxy, looks like the, the show bearer here today that uh, certainly will have some friends come Saturday if, if anybody's uh, in, in the spotted Barra business that this one will, will rise to the top of the list. Love love his big forearm and how he sets his foot down and really, like you said, his front front third of the way his head comes out of his neck, but still having a stout skull. Uh, things that that aren't always easy to put together, and, and this guy kind of does it. So again, that that one's lot sixty three, uh, the the dash seven. So we'll go to to lot fifty or sixty four. That's dash six. Uh, uh, spotted Barra again. These twenty threes are bodyguards on walks by faith. Yeah. So uh, dash six. This is a. Uh... We like this pig a lot. I mean, this thing has got a extra square, square bulky, uh, bulky tail and or not tail. I'm sorry, uh, high, hip and hind leg and 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 hip is just all uh, ultra bulky and square. Uh, tail head is where it needs to be. He's good in terms of his body shape. Like that thing's uh, length of body. He's got that good front end laid in him in terms of in terms of his front end being square and up on his toes. Uh, got a good head. This thing is a little bigger eared compared to the other two, but uh, them big eared ones sometimes are the best ones. Some things will get stout and. And, and, and good in terms of just density, and um, I like that one a good deal. His hip and hind leg flexes real, real well. So um, like that pig a lot. Like I said, a little heavier eared, but uh, I, think a, I think a good spotted bear. Yeah, and, man, he's got bulk and mass up high, and he's square uh, that we like to talk about and comes down with a big square chest floor. And he's still got look at, about his head and neck and the way it comes out of his shoulder blade and uses his hind leg awfully well uh, like this uh, this lot 64, an awful lot. Uh, and then we'll finish up with lot 65. That's the dash nine barrow uh, um, here. Again, bodyguard on walks by faith. Yeah, um, so I guess we uh, we may kind of purposely, kind of not purposely did this, but uh, we think this one's real, real good, guys. This is a dash nine. This is a this thing was a, a, a crip, and we got him fixed, and he's healed up, and um, we like this one a good deal. I'm not sure that this one would have lost his seeds if, if he wasn't a crip because this thing's hip and hind leg for a spotted pig is second to none. I mean, I think this one's bone, um, look, he's got an awesome color pattern. Um, I think, I think this one's next level good. And I, I think, um, I think with the right home, um, the, the right kind of, uh, attention, I think this one could, could hang a big one in terms of spotted males, uh, this summer. So, I uh, like this one real well. Um, like I said, we ended it with one, I think's uh, very high on my list, uh, on the bear sheet. So, um, very good pig. Um, I, I, I if you're looking for a spotted male, I, I'd, I'd make the trip and take a look at this one. Yeah, this one, uh, man, all, all three of these spotted males, this is a heck of a way to end a, end a preview and it'll be a heck of a way to end the sale Saturday because, uh, as purebred bears go, these are very, very high quality and, uh, this lot 65, uh, big time. I, th I think big ring, big banner, uh, all those, uh, what you know, you can win trailers and, and, and poppers and all sorts of things all summer. This one will give you a pretty competitive chance. I think at this stage of the game, he's he's awfully, awfully good. And one I think that you can jackpot and get along really well with, too. So, uh, again, a, a lot 65, a, a heck of a spot of barrow as we end the preview. Uh, but uh, I guess before we end, I want to say thank you to the Trogdon crew for having me come out. And if you have any questions, uh, reach out to me. Uh, Clay Parrish, just, just shoot me a call or a text if you've got questions. I'm happy to answer answer questions about, about any of the pigs we saw here today. So, again, I would just want to say thanks, Jerry. Yep. No, and um, I, I second that. We, uh, we appreciate Clay for jumping on board and coming and doing this. It would have been tough to do it without him, and I appreciate Walton for coming and doing it as well. I mean, this is, this is next-level stuff, and I'm not sure – We'll do another sale period without them here if they'll, if they're able to come. So um, Eric and I, uh, we appreciate uh, the help and uh, so even Sawyer and, and, and Scott Funkhauser, which called Fireball and the family. We we appreciate everybody helping out and uh, 
and um, anyway, like I said, we just we've had a lot of help this week, and um, I hope Saturday will be good too. Josh Campbell came in, stepped in, and and helped out a bunch. And um, if you guys got questions or anything, um, be sure to uh, be sure to call all three of us or four of us or however many it takes or our crew to get a hold of us because we can. We think we got a really good set, and um, we're we're excited for Saturday. So. Um, Saturday. Yeah, time. Saturday. Um, in terms of time, uh, like I said, the, the, we'll have a live uh, a meal at five, and and the sale kick off at seven. We usually open the doors about noon on Saturday, and you're welcome to call um, and make an appointment to come look at them the rest of the week. So, um, anyway, uh, appreciate appreciate uh, the crew for for doing this, and uh, like I said, I hope hopefully Saturday will will be a nice day, and uh, but I think it's a good set of picks and sell. So, um, look forward to seeing everybody.